Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows both movements of the bowel contents in the intestinal obstruction. You can see the area of scanning is the right side of the abdominal cavity, lower abdominal cavity. This is Sandic Golan, and you will see the movements of the intestinal contents, to and fro movements, as there is obstruction of the bowel distally, so the contents come back, move forward to and fro movements of the intestinal contents. In patients with small bowel obstruction, spine view shows dilatation of multiple loops of small bowel with the paucity of air in the large bowl. These findings in conjunction with the lack of air and stool in their distal colon and rectum are highly suggestive of mechanical intestinal obstruction. Dilated gut loops more than 2.5 cm up from outer wall to outer wall, normal caliber or collapsed loops distally are signs of intestinal obstruction. So the relevance of intestinal free fluid between the gut loops detected by sonography in the clinical assessment of small bowel obstruction in adults is very important. The presence of large amount of fluid between the dilated gut loops, small bowel gut loops suggests worsening of mechanical small bowel obstruction that requires not a medical therapy but immediate surgery. Again, you can see these, the intestinal contents moving in the ascending colon. You can see they move forward, then come back as there is obstruction. The obstruction of the large bowel usually causes milder symptoms that develop more gradually than those caused by small bowel obstruction. Increasing constipation leads to obstruction and abdominal distension. Vomiting may occur, usually severe several hours after onset of other symptoms, but is not common. Now you can see the gut loops of the descending colon, the intestinal contents moving in the descending colon. Intestinal villi are also seen. Constipation is a medical condition that can affect the ability to eliminate stool. Constipation is different from constipation in obstination is different from constipation in that obstipation is when a person cannot pass stool or gas, usually due to an obstruction or blockage of hard, difficult. Uh, to pass stool. Now you can see the, the the intestinal movements, intestinal contents, movements of the intestinal contents to and fro movement. The high fiber content in bananas can help normalize the effect of constipation. They can help you push out the waste better by making stools easier to pass. These images by ultrasound are more detailed than a standard X-ray and are more likely to show an intestinal obstruction. Ultrasound, when an ultrasound of, uh, when an intestinal obstruction occurs in children, ultrasound is often the preferred type of imaging. At sonography, bowel obstruction is considered to be present when lumen of the fluid-filled small bowel loop is dilated to more than 3 cm. The length of the segment is more than 10 cm and the peristalsis of the dilated segment is increased as shown by to and fro or whirling motion of the bowel contents as in this case. Signs and symptoms of the intestinal obstruction include crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes, 
loss of appetite, constipation, vomiting, inability to have bowel movement or pass gas, swelling of the abdomen. The researchers at the Medical School of Athens University found that out of 46 patients who were given Coca-Cola to treat the blockage, the treatment cleared the blockage in half. Thanks for watching. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.